gentrification without talking about ownership. If you own something and you protect it and it has value, you develop it and you pass it on to the next generation. It's not about business for business sake. It's about making something better for those who come behind you. And so when you look at all of those different businesses that we've had in our community, one of the things that hit us very hard was crack cocaine in the in the the, the, the late eighties, early nineties and on into today. You know, it's the same thing that, you know, when when the alcohol and the guns were brought into the native community, where you had guns and drugs that brought into our community, and as a result you had fear. People started to disperse, the knowledge began to disperse, and then all of a sudden, in that vacancy, in that void, somebody came in and stole your equity. You know, so first of all, there's a saying that says, by the time the fool learns the rules of the game, the players have already gone home. Well, the players have gone home. If you go and look at Five Points, you go and look at uh, uh, Stony and, and, and uh, Lakeshore up there in, in Chicago, you go and look around in Boston, you go and look in Harlem, you go look everywhere, you go see the same thing. And when I see the same thing, I think that there's a unified plan. Mm -hmm. And so then that's going to go back to what, 1887 with Bismarck, and he's got the, you, you got the, the, the coming together of the European nations that split up an entire continent. Mm -hmm. First they were fighting with each other and then they pulled themselves into a room and said, hold up a second, if we work collective together, we could take the whole thing, but we got to quit fighting. We lost the continent. We lost communities, and what we do to do is find the knowledge that will keep us from repeating a history that seems to, to be unending. And I, I like to add to that, uh, creating a new culture. And uh, that neglect you spoke of earlier, I think that's where it came from. We lost our sense of culture and our togetherness. Um, if you look around, this is what it is, you know? A lot, of, a lot of people don't see that though in their communities. They don't see the togetherness. It's more of a survival tactic. So. Um, it's all about creating that culture of uh, really being together and truly supporting each other and truly supporting those uh, those black businesses and things of that nature. There's two things that uh, people respect more than anything, and that's your money and your time. And if you invest in your time, your energy, or your money and your energy in the right things, you know, that's where the most effect will will, will happen. So I think that's where we need to start um, by creating a new culture and invest in our money and energy and uh, more efficient place, places that are going to be more beneficial to our people. It's just so deep, brother. There's <laughs> <laughs> just so much to say. Sometimes I just sit back and listen, you know, because um, we all have our own fingerprint, you know, I meaning we all have our own destiny. But to me, our destiny is going to the same place. It is to the glory, you know. So we, we especially us as original men, we have hell of a duty to do right now. And, and, and it's, it is on us to unify. Like you said, the different schools of thought. It's like a head. You know, we got to step black power, we got to unify that. You know? it's, all our, it's different stories, but it's our story. It's our story. It's all it's all the timeline of our history. You know? And it's up to us to piece it back together and keep it going. It's just beautiful. We want to do it tomorrow, next week. <laughs> yeah. You know? I agree. Keep doing it. You know? We're going to keep it simple today. We're going to end out on that. Y'all see the babies playing. Uncle Jocelyn Epps, Shem and Matep, your brother Sean Carr signing out. Y'all gotta meet these little brothers. Yeah. What they do? I'm watching the play. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I, was yeah, I lost my train of thought. I was watching the play. Getting it. Yeah. These little brothers is on it. Yeah, yeah. Peace, How are you? Yeah. Man, this is like Angola out here, brother.